What's going on today, guys? We are coming at you with one of the most decadent recipes yet. This one is super delicious, super high fat, very low carb, going for maximum deliciousness, you came to the right place. So here's what we're making. We have a six inch skillet right here. We're making a blondie, a skillet blondie. Totally jam packed full of flavor. Let's get started. So for kind of the base of this is gonna be almond butter and cacao butter. So if you're unfamiliar with cacao butter, we got some right here. You can get this on Amazon. A pound of it is gonna cost you what, like 13 bucks or so? That's what's gonna kind of give it some of that blondie flavor because we don't really have, I don't know, what are blondies made of normal? Brown sugar, what are blondies? So we got a big microwave safe bowl here. We're gonna put two ounces of cacao butter in here. Okay, so we have our two ounces of cacao butter and to that we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of almond butter, that's a lot. Split this recipe amongst like three or four friends. Okay, so this is sort of your base right here and we're gonna microwave this for probably about 30 to 60 seconds until everything melts and we can just evenly mix it together. That was in there for an extremely long time, about two and a half minutes, and it's close to melted. Over time, cacao butter, it just takes such a long time to melt. If you just leave this out, it's gonna warm through. Um, it's gonna take like another one or two minutes of just sitting there for it to fully melt. So while we're waiting for it to melt, we can start adding some of the other ingredients. For sweetener, we're gonna use erythritol and stevia, a mixture of both, because I don't like using too much erythritol, so if you use both, it's kind of a good way to get high sweetness with not a ton of erythritol. Two tablespoons of erythritol here. Just gonna sprinkle that in. I'm using the granular erythritol. You can also use powdered. It shouldn't make much of a difference. And then we're gonna do 20 drops of this concentrated stevia. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a mix. Where are we at here? Okay, we're getting close. So we're gonna use a couple of extracts here to really get the blondie flavor. I would say optional, but it's gonna add a little bit to it if you have them. Vanilla extract, I'm gonna do a full teaspoon. I would say go with vanilla. Pretty much everyone has some vanilla extract lying around. And then optionally, but it's gonna enhance it, is almond extract. Half teaspoon. I love almond extract. We're gonna do a little pinch of salt, and then we're gonna use a quarter cup of coconut flour. That's gonna be the only flour we use in this. Okay, all the cacao butter is melted. That smells delicious. Quarter cup of coconut flour. Come on over here to the mixing station. We got two eggs here. I'm gonna add them one at a time just cause it's really hot. Okay, so now for the mix-ins, we are gonna go with some shredded coconut and some 100% unsweetened dark chocolate. Now, a lot of times people will try the dark chocolate and they're like, it's too bitter, it's not sweet enough. I think in this recipe you will like it because it's already really sweet. So a little bit of bitterness and chocolatiness to cut through the sweetness is gonna be good. So we're gonna roughly chop two ounces of uh, dark chocolate here, unsweetened. Then we got a good third cup of coconut flakes. It's the baker's chocolate. Now grab a spatula and just fold this in. Oh man, that looks magical. I think some people call these Congo bars. I have never called them that. Check that out, look at the consistency. That's the almond butter doing its thing. You can also save a little bit of the toppings if you wanna to top the blondies. We got the oven preheating to 350. We're gonna fill this pan. I would say lightly grease it, but you probably don't even need to grease it much. And you can see this is gonna make like a fully filled six inch skillet. So more than enough to share amongst friends. And the fact that this, the batter was a little warm when we mix the chocolate in, it's kind of making this not look as much like blondies as I would like. So this might be more like tanned blondies. Okay, this is gonna go in the oven for 20 plus minutes. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll check on it at 20 minutes. We'll be back to try it. Okay guys, here we are. And this has come together nicely, not necessarily the most beautifully though. So it bubbles up a little as you cook it. Um, you may even wanna put a sheet pan underneath it just so it doesn't leak over into your oven. What I'm actually gonna do, I think, is try and flip this over onto a plate so you guys can see it in all of its glory. Whoa. There it is. Now remember guys, this is very calorie dense and very delicious. I would recommend cutting this into like six pieces, maybe even eight. So let's just get a good cross section going here. Wow, this is, this is looking delicious. Very thick. 
and it's really nice and high fat too. Okay, this is still kind of hot. You should probably let it cool, but let's give this a try with my hands. Super gooey. Dang. Mm. It does taste quite a bit like Blondie's. A little bit of like a Mounds bar too because you got the dark chocolate, you got the uh, shredded coconut. You know what? Honestly, like most of the time when I get served a big dessert like this, I'm like, I could just pound this entire thing, no problem. That's why I don't like making desserts like this. But I feel like it's really dense. It really has like a nice variety of flavors, like a lot of different flavors, coconut, chocolate, you got the cacao butter, you got the extracts. I could probably be satisfied with like a small piece of this. I wouldn't need to keep going. You can even make like half the recipe and then just eat it right out of the skillet. I feel like it's made to be eaten out of the skillet. But that's it guys, that's the recipe. The link to how to make it is in the description of this video. And all of our recipes are on ketoconnect.net. So check that out if you wanna search through maybe some inspiration for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching, we'll be back soon.